Hey what's up guys this is Kitty Cloudy and I know I'm late in the whole Android O video race but well instead of making a what's new video of the newer features I decided to give this a proper shot and basically review it like I do with my ROM reviews. So I did load this up on my Pixel using the Android beta program so it's now a public beta and not a developer preview. And installing it was super simple it's like you would do with any other software OTA update it restores all your app settings and data so it's really nifty now coming on to the newer features well i've covered most of the newer features of android o in my previous video so you can check that out but well we have a couple of new improvements first is the redesigned quick settings which is much cleaner in layout but it's now black and white and to be honest i don't really like white on it but on my pixel which has white bezels it doesn't really look that bad but next we have notification dots which basically adds a nifty little dot over the app icon whenever you have any notification from that app and then the app shortcut menu you get on long pressing an app has a new design as well now moving on we have autofill built into android and is the same feature in chrome on your computer which automatically fills up information on fields and yeah it's now baked right into android so whenever you need to log in on a new app you don't need to type anything basically now next we have something called smart copy paste it's supposed to bring a better copy paste experience by adding phrase by phrase text selection and even contextual actions in the copy paste menu but past all that we still have those system ui tuner tricks we still have notification snoozing we still have picture in picture mode which still doesn't work on beta devices but there is a hack slash trick through which you can enable it. I leave a link to a video on how to do that, but yeah, it's possible. And lastly, we have a refreshed emoji style for Android O, which replaces the blob-like emojis from the previous versions of Android. And again, we have some behind-the-scenes improvements like support for Project Treble, which is a huge step in improving the condition of Android updates. We have Google Play Protect. We have support for adaptive icons. We have notification channels wider color gamut support, support for better quality Bluetooth audio, and Android Go, which is a tuned up variant of Android optimized for running on lower end devices. Now with Android O, Google promises performance improvements with boot times going twice as fast on the Google Pixel. And you gotta take that with a grain of salt, especially when you're on beta. But as far as I tested it, it seemed to be really fast. And the overall smoothness of the whole thing was top notch and I didn't find as much bugs, freezes or app crashes except for in the camera app but overall it even felt faster than Nougat at times. Battery life was well not that great I get about 3 and 3.5 three and hours of screen on time on a single charge which is way lesser than Nougat stuff but it's not really a big of a surprise since this is beta software. But overall it definitely feels stable for something which is supposed to be in beta and you can definitely try it out if you own a supported device which is a Nexus 5X, a 6P, Nexus Player, Google Pixel or the Pixel XL. But if you do want to go back to Nougat you just have to unenroll the device from the program and you'll receive an OTA update for the Nougat build and you just have to install it and things will be exactly the same as they were before. But the point of this video is just to be some sort of an evidence through which we can keep track of how Android O matures in its final release. Also I hate doing this kind of stuff but if you've made it this far, comment down below with hashtag Oreo. And as always, thank you so much for watching, catch you guys in the next one, cheers.